want to dive back into the depths of Greek mythology with a fresh twist. Here's why Hades too should be on your radar. When Hades burst onto the scene, it redefined what we expect from roguelikes, combining snappy combat, deep lore, and an art style that instantly captured our hearts. Its success wasn't just in sales, but in setting a new standard for indie games. Today, we're gearing up for its highly anticipated sequel, Hades 2. Stick around as we delve into how to join the technical test, what's new and exciting about the gameplay, character improvements, and speculate on the future of this fiery franchise. Excited to get your hands on Hades 2 before anyone else? Here's your guide to signing up for the technical test. First, you'll need to have a Steam account. If you don't have one yet, it's quick and free to set up on the Steam website. Once your Steam account is ready, navigate to the Hades 2 store page on Steam. You'll find the Request Access button just below the game's preview images. Clicking this button will enter you into the pool of potential testers. But what happens next? Not everyone who signs up will get to play early. The selection is random, aiming to gather a diverse group of players to ensure the game is tested on a wide range of hardware and user experiences. If you're one of the lucky ones selected for the test, you'll receive an email from Supergiant Games with instructions on how to access the game. Remember, being selected gives you a unique opportunity to shape Hades 2 by reporting any bugs or gameplay issues you encounter, and your feedback could influence the final tweaks before the full release. If you're not chosen immediately, don't lose hope Supergiant Games plans to expand the pool of testers as the technical test progresses, increasing your chances to participate as they scale up their testing phases. Stay tuned, stay hopeful, and prepare to dive into the underworld once more with Hades 2. Are you ready to join the gods? Hades 2 isn't just a sequel, it's a leap forward in the roguelike genre, bringing an array of exciting updates and innovations. Let's dive into what makes Hades 2 stand out from its predecessor. Firstly, the character design has seen significant improvements, embracing a wider spectrum of diversity. Supergiant Games has received acclaim for enhancing representation with more varied and inclusive character designs. For instance, the new look for Demeter breaks the traditional mold no longer just an elderly figure, she now embodies strength and wisdom with a vibrant, powerful appearance that reflects her status as the goddess of the seasons. Another thrilling addition is Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths and craftsmanship. Traditionally depicted as burly and strong, Hades too introduces a fresh take by including a disability narrative. Hephaestus is shown using a wheelchair, adding depth and authenticity to his character. This portrayal is not only a nod to his mythology often described as lame or crippled, but also a significant step towards inclusive representation in video games. On the gameplay front, Hades 2 builds upon the solid foundation laid by its predecessor with refined mechanics and smoother controls. The combat system has been overhauled to be more fluid and responsive, allowing for a more engaging and challenging experience. Players can look forward to new weapon types and unique abilities that open up fresh strategies and playstyles. Graphically, the game has received a substantial upgrade. Enhanced textures, more detailed environments, and dynamic lighting effects bring the underworld to life like never before. These visual enhancements make each encounter and exploration even more immersive, ensuring that both returning fans and newcomers will find something to awe them. In summary, Hades 2 not only honors the legacy of its acclaimed predecessor, but also pushes the boundaries on what players expect from an indie roguelike. With its commitment to diversity, upgraded gameplay mechanics, and stunning graphical improvements, Hades 2 is poised to redefine the gaming landscape once again. Are you ready to explore the depths of the underworld in this bold new sequel? As we dive deeper into Hades 2, let's explore what the technical test phase entails for those eager to get an early glimpse of this much-anticipated sequel. This test is your chance to experience the underworld through fresh eyes and help shape the game's final polish. 
During the technical test, players will have the opportunity to traverse the first major area of Hades 2. This initial zone is designed to introduce new gameplay mechanics and narrative elements that set the stage for the full adventure. Testers will meet a range of characters, some familiar and some brand new, engaging in quests that test their skills and strategic thinking. You'll also get a first look at new weapons and power-ups, experiencing firsthand how they influence the classic Hades combat style. The duration of the technical test is not set in stone. It could last anywhere from a couple of weeks to about a month, depending on the volume and nature of feedback received. Supergiant Games aims to iterate quickly, making adjustments based on player interactions and bug reports. This means your feedback could directly impact the quality and content of the final game, making your role crucial in the development process. To participate in the technical test, your PC needs to meet certain requirements to ensure the game runs smoothly and your experience is optimal. Here are the minimum system requirements. Operating system, Windows 10, 64-bit. Processor, dual core to 4 gigahertz. Memory, 4 GB RAM. Graphics, a GPU with at least 2 GB of RAM and support for DirectX 12. These requirements are designed to allow as many players as possible to participate while ensuring the game performs well on a variety of hardware setups. So if you're ready to step into the shoes of a divine hero, check your setup, sign up for the test and prepare to help shape the next chapter of this epic saga. Hades 2 is waiting for you, are you ready to challenge the gods? One of the most commendable aspects of Hades 2 is its progressive approach to body diversity and character representation, which marks a significant leap forward from its predecessor. Supergiant Games has put considerable effort into designing characters that reflect a broader spectrum of the human condition, showcasing a range of body types, ages, and abilities that go beyond traditional video game aesthetics. The inclusion of characters like Hephaestus, who uses a wheelchair, and Demeter, portrayed as both strong and matronly, reflects a thoughtful approach to character design. These characters are not just visual variations, but are imbued with unique backstories and abilities that resonate with their physical appearances. This approach not only enriches the narrative, but also makes Hades 2 a more inclusive game that represents a wider audience. The impact of these changes on player experience is profound. By seeing themselves reflected in these characters, players from diverse backgrounds feel more welcomed and connected to the game. This inclusivity enhances the emotional engagement and investment in the storyline and gameplay, making the experience more personal and relatable. Moreover, Supergiant's commitment to diversity does more than just widen its appeal. It sets a new standard for cultural representation in gaming, challenging other developers to think more inclusively when creating their own game worlds. This shift towards more diverse representation is a powerful step towards broader societal change, where all players can feel represented and valued in the gaming community. In Hades 2, every character you meet, ally with, or confront enhances the rich tapestry of the game's world, making your journey through the underworld not just a battle against mythical beings, but also a celebration of diversity and strength in all its forms. With Hades 2, Supergiant Games is not just telling a story, they're weaving a new narrative in the fabric of gaming culture. As Hades 2 captivates players with its enriched gameplay and narrative depth, speculation about the future of the series is inevitable. Could Hades 2 be the finale, or is it merely a stepping stone to a larger, more expansive franchise? Like God of War, which successfully transitioned from Greek to Norse mythology, Hades has the potential to explore other mythological realms. Its rich narrative framework and gameplay mechanics are well suited to adaptation and expansion. However, unlike Assassin's Creed, which continually shifts settings and characters, the Hades series might benefit from a more focused and contained approach. This would ensure that each installment retains the charm and depth that fans love, without diluting the brand across too many disparate themes. 
There's also the potential that Hades too could conclude the saga, leaving a legacy as a powerful duology that stands complete on its own merits. This approach would preserve the series uniqueness, maintaining high quality without overstaying its welcome in the ever-changing gaming landscape. Whether Hades 2 paves the way for future expansions or concludes the series, its impact on the roguelike genre and video game storytelling will undoubtedly be felt for years to come. In summary, Hades 2 builds significantly upon its predecessor's foundations, introducing enhanced gameplay mechanics, a bold approach to character diversity, and stunning visual upgrades. These elements come together to create a game that's not only a worthy sequel, but a potential genre-defining classic. Hades 2 represents a pivotal point in roguelike gaming, pushing boundaries in inclusivity, narrative depth, and player engagement. It's these qualities that could make Hades 2 the next big hit in its genre. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news and hit the like button if you're excited for Hades 2. Stay tuned for more updates, deep dives, and gameplay tips right here. Thanks for watching.